Hello everybody and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2 for Roguelike Roulette we are going to be playing in. I'm actually going to do the glass um, the glass artifact again because I really enjoyed that last time but I'm not sure who we should play as. Um, I, I'm, I'm unsure because there's a lot of fun characters to play with. I mean Lord is always my favourite but I feel like he's going to be super super difficult to play unless we get some like really high defence with glass. I mean we can try it out though so let's up, up it to monsoon, enable our effects of glass and then just go on in and see how we go. I think if we get a good enough amount of defensive items then it will work but it's going to be pretty difficult I think. Um, we will of course go over and take that. Because why wouldn't we? But yeah, I just love this guy's movement speed more than anything else. Also, this is going to be really good. I think it's going to one-shot. No, no, not quite. Still good, though. Okay, yeah, we're just going to have to be very selective um, and careful about when we uh, when we try to kill things. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. Certainly. But we can do things like that. And like that. Which are going to help out massively. There's another big boy somewhere. I'm not sure where. Is he over here? I think he's over here, yeah. Oh my god, he's he's all the way. Did he just fall off the map? I think he did. So we're gonna have to, like I said, use our use our abilities relatively selectively to make sure that we don't fall into a trap. Actually, this is gonna be really good for us. That that ability there is probably gonna be the best thing that we have right now. Let's make our way over here and try and actually get some items going shall we very much would like to open a few chests we have enough to open a few already but the good thing is this character is so strong that if we can get that defense we don't need the offense particularly uh, so we get to the term which honestly isn't bad this early on um having the term this early should mean that we get enough money to buy most of our chests every stage. Now, it is difficult to guarantee that happening. But, it's a good chance of it. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy with that. That is very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Right, we're, we're still looking for our chests, though. We've only found two so far. Like, I've quite literally only seen two, so... That's a little concerning. I think we've got one over there. Good thing as well is we don't have to worry about fall damage with this guy either. Movement speed will also be a big get for us. Uh, so let's check here. Nah. I I am very perplexed as to where our chests are. Unless we just don't have any, which would it'd be surprising. But it has happened. Or we just have very, very few chests. Of course, we've got another Chan Shrine there, but that's not really what we're looking for. Um, How much is this healing droid? It's 40. Right, that should kill these guys. Good, good. Yeah, we're going to have to take a, a, a chance on this thing because we've got really no other options. Again, I said I'll play it three times before I uh, give up completely. Hey, we've got an active item. Not a particularly good one, but it is, it is somewhat useful. Um, I accidentally turned on my turret then. Not a great idea. So we can get some good damage going out with that. I'm not convinced that's the best idea for us. There's another chest. Yeah, I'm not convinced that's the best idea for us, but it is a, an availability, an option. Um, we get ourselves some extra boss damage, which is going to help out right now. Right, now to find out how this is going to go. We've got two bosses here, so there's, there's certainly a possibility that we just insta-die here. Especially considering I almost died straight away. I genuinely don't know where the bosses are. Okay, one of them's here. Yeah. Okay. This this is a problem. We definitely need the ability to swing more. That would help. I'm gonna use my money my money gun. The money gun's actually gonna be pretty good for protecting us and just keeping us safe. Um, we of course get double items here. So death mark really isn't very good for us right now, but it will become very good later on. I genuinely think this might be like one of our best abilities. It, it's so good for like that, that quick AOE damage that we that we desperately need. 
But yes, the death mark is going to be something that we have to build onto. And it's going to be pretty difficult to build onto as well. So I'm not very happy about that. Especially getting two of them. I mean, the damage that we get from it is pretty insane if we do manage to pull that off. I just somehow don't think we will pull it off. I think that's going to be a pretty, a pretty hard push to get that to work consistently for us. It's going to be a, few, a good few stages before that happens. Oh, no. And we immediately get taken out by an elite there. Right, we'll try again. Unfortunately, that didn't go great. I'm, I'm still going to stick with, with this character. Um, getting the double item there was really nice. It was just so unfortunate that it really wasn't something we needed. So I'm going to try this out and just do this straight away. Okay, this is great. The beetles really shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. There was another one over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay. So we're already starting off with a little bit of extra cashola. A little bit of extra cashola than normal. Um, we'll, of course, try and use that whenever we can to take that out. I see a chest over there already. It's an offensive one, but I'll still take it nonetheless. There's also one just below us there. So, first of all, we're getting the War Pawn, which is decent, but not good yet. Uh, once we get uh, an active item, especially if we can get a fast charge active item, that's going to become pretty important for keeping our um, our damage resistant up. The Repulsion Armor Plate is very good early on. It, it doesn't scale very well, but to keep us alive for right now, I'm happy with it. Right, so, we do have an active item there. I'm very willing to pop that open and, uh, and try to enable War Horn. So, let's see what we end up getting. And uh, I genuinely don't know if this works with Warhorn. If it does, it's pretty good. It doesn't. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. So that was a bit of a waste. Still, it's a good thing we had to have. We, we proved that last time, but it's actually pretty valuable to us. Cautious Slug. It does help, but not... Not that much. We do have another Shrine of the Mountain over there, which is nice. Oh, I can't, I can't believe I missed that guy then. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to use this to take out... We need to make sure we're not using too much uh, too much of the charges on that. So, we'll definitely go and, and get that again. No! How did I miss that? Alright, grab that. You've got a three-prong little shop there. Get that going. Right, make our way over towards the shop. It's a bit awkward using our grapple as an offensive ability. It doesn't really work too well. Uh, we'll go with a random because the other two aren't great. Bustling Fungus is worse than the other two, which is fantastic for us. Great stuff. Um, do we have much much more chests around? I am not sure. So we've got a lot of these little money pods around, which is surprising. You normally don't get that many of these. I am going to throw that out right now. Because that does have some decent range. Razor wire is really good for us. Um, and I'm going to go with the goat hoof as well. Paul's goat hoof is great for, obviously, speed, primarily. Ah, hey. oh, I missed him. Good, good, good. Got that guy. Take out you. Right, now, this is going to be difficult. Definitely want to make sure everything's dead first. The repulsion thing seems to be saving our life against wisps right now, because they seem to only deal one damage. Let's pop this open. Okay, there you go. There's that done. I, the boss fights are going to be easy. Squid Polyps isn't great, but I think we can actually make this work. I think Squid Polyps is one of those ones... We don't need to be getting hit by that guy. I think Squid Polyps is one of those ones that we probably will get decent value out of. Just due to the fact that the squids are going to be doing a whole hell of a lot more damage. Got him. That body just should eat it up there. Got that too. Got you. Not going to be much more chests around. Tell you what, I'll do this because why not? Yeah, yeah, the squid polyps are doing great. 
that that one there just absolutely destroyed. Yeah, they've done 180 damage a hit. Now they are dying pretty quick, so that's a shame. But I think I think we can make it work. I think Squid Polyp could be very good on glass, especially for dealing with wisps. Of course, they do only last for a limited time as well, which is a shame. Got you. Got you. And we're just about done for the next level. A little zappy boy is going to take out anything that gets in the vicinity. And there you go. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That went that went definitely better than the first time. And we've I think we've got okay items transitioning here. Razor wire is going to be really, really, really good for us. If we can get more of those, that'd be fantastic. I am going to do this straight away. There's a few things this could spawn, which would be terrible. Most things that spawn are going to be fine. That did spawn a squid polyp. Okay, that blasted me away. Because that's going to set us up for a chest immediately, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, attack speed is very, very good. Definitely something we want. Um, things will be dying around that. Let's kill you. I think we've got a green chest here already. Yep, we'll take that. We want healing items, definitely. Certain ones, at least. That one's not great, but we are up in the face of enemies pretty regularly, so it's not going to be a bad thing for us, certainly. I'm liking how, how Squid Polyps is going for us right now. Just about missed that chest. Let's grab it. We've got exactly enough for another one as well. Regen health after killing enemies is also decent. Only really when stacked high, though. I think it's not going to be great for us. But I think I think the meat is more effective on monsoon difficulty than it is on other difficulties. So it's nice to see. Oh yeah. Right. We are going to have one of you to deal with there. I think we can one-shot you. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait this out and wait until my grapple's ready again. I do not want to risk getting hit by that guy. Yeah, we can kill him in one hit. Good, good, good. So let's just do a quick um, a quick little run around here to make sure there's any chests back this way. There's always one or two hiding somewhere. There's one. There's always one or two hiding somewhere around here. We found one right here. Um, crit glasses are, of course, pretty decent. Nothing amazing, but they, they will definitely help. Ooh, yeah, that we got we got on fire there, but the, the meat actually saved us there. So we'll now head up this way. We do have a big chest. We'll open that straight away. We're going to get ourselves the band. That's that's actually really good. We can set up death mark with that. I know we don't have that currently anymore, but it's definitely good that we have that ready for next time. And we do have another big chest here as well. Um, I'm going to aim to get that done. Oh, that was beautiful. How much are we looking at here? 114, that's reasonable. Get uh, ukuleles really, really good. <coughs> I'm going to be able to chain together some attacks. Um, I will go for this in case we get Gesture of the Drowned. I definitely want Gesture of the Drowned. Um, obviously, it doesn't really work with the active we have right now. But it will work with future ones, so I'm willing to take it. Right, I think we'll just lob uh, an electric pylon in the middle of that little area there. If anything comes this way, it's going to get zapped. Of course, all of them just dodged the hell out of it. And then I think we should have at least one or two more chests around this way. So we've got an elite enemy there. There's a chest. We've got exactly 57 yet again. That keeps happening. Focus crystal's really good for us. Wow, it's good polyp. Good work. Very happy with Squid Polyp right now. Normally, I hate that thing. It's pretty bad, but... This time, it's doing a good job. You can see it's doing pretty good damage, and it's gained us a lot of money over there. Um, yes, another Focus Crystal's really good. Even more damage up close. Basically, any enemy that spawns on us after we interact with something kind of takes a beating, which is is great. In fact, we should maybe try and leave any chests and active activatables near the um, near the teleporter for when we use it. Of course, we can't do that this time around, but for the future, I think that's definitely a plan and could definitely work quite nicely. So let's see how this goes. But don't be clear, Dune Strider. Oh, I forgot to say. Okay, doesn't matter. We killed it. It's dead. And we get ATG Missile Launcher. That's really good for us. Good, good. They're dead. So now we just have to survive this, which shouldn't be too bad. Especially if we do that. 
and kill a bunch of them. Wow, I did not mean to do that, but it worked out. Ukulele is great. Ukulele is very great. The more ukuleles we can get, the better this is going to get. Nice. The, uh, the meat's actually really good. I should have taken that earlier when I had the chance to, rather than getting a cautious slug. Not a cautious slug. Uh, um, what the hell's it called? The mushroom things. A bustling fungus, that's the one. Also, the razor wire is helping out a whole, whole hell of a lot too. Oh no, that guy just committed suicide. <laughs> Later, dude. Have fun with that. He's stuck down there. He's not committing yet. Let's see if we can make him commit. There you go. You're gone now. Nice. Even kills things in the air. That's what's great about ukulele. It don't discriminate on flying or non-flying types. It just goes for it. Right, get in our portal. See if we can get something decent here. I like my green items, but I probably would trade them for a good enough legendary. I didn't realize we have two squid polyps. Is that from our first? That was from our first floor, wasn't it? Probably. Right. We do have this, which would increase our damage by a lot, but it would also make us very vulnerable. Um, we have Alien Head or Krona Bobble. Um, half HP for double damage is always fun, so we will do it. Um, I can never remember which ability this takes over. If it takes over a punch, I'd be willing to take it, but I can't remember if it does, so I'm just going to back away. But... Our damage is now 1,000% rather than 500%. So this is going to be great. Uh, we, do, we do have half health yet again, though. So it's going to be pretty difficult for us to stay alive. But I'm I'm prepared to, to deal with this and try this out. It could be quite fun. Of course, specific enemies, especially some of the specific enemies on this floor, do very much so challenge, challenge our uh, abilities to do much here. Especially that guy there. We're going to... We're going to play this guy like a fiddle. There you go. That guy is not good for us. We do not want to be dealing with him in any capacity whatsoever. Uh, so let's just have a little look over here. We do have a teddy bear available, which is like a 12%. Is there another one of these guys? Okay, this is you. I can take care of you. I can take care of you. Um, let's take the teddy bear. Teddy bear is like a 12% chance, I think, as as when you have one, it's a 12% chance to negate damage, which is enough. It's enough to be valuable. Um, Got to try and look around for, wow, he uh, he, he did the yeet. We got him there. Good, good, good. Don't want to get bled by those dudes. Got enough money for a chest now, so let's pop down over here. That guy's a little bit stuck. Hey, the brooch is great for us. Wow. Okay, so we can kill big enemies with our grapple right now. That's how much damage we have. That's pretty spicy. Um, that is a gesture of the ground. Okay. Um, something I did not know. Something I did not know is that the Gesture of the Drowned plus this means we now have no money forever? I think... I think I've made a major mistake here. I have never actually dealt with this interaction. But yeah, we, we now have no money forever. So that's going to be... That, that's, that's going to challenge this, I would say. Because whenever we gain money, we now shoot it straight away. Um, and without money, we cannot trade out our active item. Oh my god, please no. Okay, we got him. Yeah, this is this is going to be pretty difficult. Yeah, so basically what we need to do is we need to find an active item pod. And then sit around it until we have enough money to pay for it. So let's do that now. Let's see if we can find an active item pod. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is just sad. Every time we get money, it's just gone. Pissed into the wind straight away. There has to be one somewhere. Otherwise, we ain't really getting chests this, this, this run. There is ways we can buy, but it, we have to be very, very fast about it. Nothing down here. We have to lead enemies to chests and then kill them and then buy as soon as we have the money. Like, things like that are useless because it just spends the money straight away. Yeah, this probably wasn't the smartest decision I've ever made in my life. You gotta admit. But, we'll make it work. I just realized the bridge isn't here this time around. Does that mean there's no items over here? I've never actually experienced this before without it being without it having the bridge. I assume there's no items over here now. Because there's no technical way to get over here without specific characters, like this guy. Yeah, there's no items here. Which probably means that we don't have um It probably means that we don't have any ability to Yeah, you stop shooting me, dude. Uh, it probably means that we don't have really any ability to get rid of our Waking Nightmare. Which is a shame. Certainly a shame. So I reckon our course of action right now is probably to... Where, what the hell? What even... What even happened then? Right, we'll try that again. I don't even know what happened then. I tried to I tried to shoot myself up with my fist, like launch myself into the sky, and I hit an enemy that was behind me and it stopped me from moving and that enemy exploded. So that was uh, that was an unfortunate synergy that I didn't realize was a thing. Um One second, I have to try this. Yeah, this is as awful as I thought it would be. <gasps> Wait. It can't kill us, though. Okay. 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 The fact that it can't kill us gives me an idea. It basically just gives me the idea that it's actually pretty good and we could use it. Depending on the items we get here. Of course, we need to activate it. That's... that's, that's a prerequisite. Really? So, yeah, the ice guy's killing one here. That's it's good to know. That was just sad. What, what a way to lose. A terrible combination I didn't understand. Which actually might not have been so terrible if we'd have just played into it. And just started killing things. But I really didn't want to play into it. Um, yeah. Just not great. Yeah, because th thinking about it, we're always a hit away from death anyways, so having two of these on utility is going to be great. We don't have enough for that yet. Oh, no, we do. We do. Hey, ukulele again. Something we definitely need. I wonder if ukulele can proc off of the fire damage. Probably not, I'd assume. Where's this big lump? We are. Okay, we've got a buy station over here. Pod over there. Crit glasses, personal shield generator, and we're taking crit glasses. Lens makers glasses are lovely. <laughs> wow. So we died again there. Okay, we try again. I'm enjoying this though. I thought Loader would be really, really hard to play um, with with the glass artifacts on, but he's not proving to be as hard as I thought. I've still, I can't deny it's still difficult. It's certainly still difficult. Like we're having to deal with, uh, we're having to deal with some odd interactions and such. But mostly, it's like working out pretty okay. Because you're over there. We can probably do this, yeah, before we manage to fire. 
I did see a big chest up over there, so I'm gonna probably wait until I have the money for that, which should be 50, I think, on Monsoon. I can never remember the exact pricing model. But this should be enough to give us 50. There you are. Legendary. Oh my god, yes. Reduce cooldowns on skills. Noise. That's going to help out a whole heap. As long as we can survive. Which is a possibility. Whee! Okay, we'll take that. I will take risks, even if it means losing our legendary. I will take risks. There is no victory without risk. Okay, I think that should get most of them, if not all of them. Lovely. Uh, Tri-tip seems like it could be really good. Okay, I did not see you there. So you got, you're going to back away, sir. Uh, we're going to head up here and grab that. I'm hoping to get like three or four more item chests open before we... Before we start this up. Right, what are we going to get here? Gasoline seems like it would be the best right now. Just because of how much damage we're dealing already. Plop that down. We do have the ability to grab an active. Leeching seed is not great for us. But we can we can try and build towards it maybe. Um, let's drop down here and get those two opened. And then we can pop back up here. And grab this. Oh, yes. Okay, so while not great for us, like, right now. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, thank God. We do have something over here. While not great for us right now, I think that, that can synergize quite well. Okay, this is this. We'll take that. Oh my god, yes, having this recharge is so nice. Right, we do have another item up, up this way, so let's head over there. Right, there it is. Don't go all the way over. Thank god. Thank god. Right, and we do have you. Let's take you out. And we get this, which is... It's, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I'm trying to see where, where the rest of our chests are. I, I haven't really looked around the back of the map too much, to be honest. I mean, I haven't really looked anywhere past this bit. To be honest, so let's let's take a little John over there and see what we can see. Um, looks like not much of anything. Like surprisingly, we don't have any chests over this side at all, really. No. Okay, that was very close. Oh my god. Okay, I thought I was dead there. I jumped by accident, and it made that actually more difficult. I don't know why I decided to use the grapple rather than just take the uh, the jump thing, but. That's just the way I do. Right, let's see if this goes okay, shall we? Okay, let's first of all get rid of you guys. Get rid of all these dudes. Pop this on. Three, two, one. Pop that down. That one's that's one dead. Right, then we got to wait, wait for a recharge on our abilities. Got that one as well. Got that done. Take care of you. Okay, okay, okay. I feel a bit more confident now. Um, this could be pretty good. Critical strikes improve attack speed. Considering we uh, can build towards that with lens makers and such. I like the idea behind that. I do not like the idea behind you being right there. Especially dropping a lunar coin that close to the edge, sir. Not cool. Not cool. Right, we'll drop that there. Because these dudes really aren't a problem. Very easy to kill for us. It's more the um, Lemarians that can be difficult. Ah, ah, no. Got you. Really need to be careful with the Wisps. They're the most dangerous things for us right now. We're on 64%. Looking good. Drop that guy while we can. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, this is feeling good. It's feeling promising. We're in with a chance. Starting with the alien head, I think it's like a 25% cooldown reduction across the board. is really, really nice. I'd really much like to have another one of those. After banner would be the best, though. Oh, no, no, no. 
Ah, oh, balls. It's fine. It's fine. I did forget about that, but it's not its not a big loss. Oh, wait, no, it let us go through. Surprising. Um, so. What's the difference? What are, the, what are these two? Hmm. A legendary. It's five green items. We only have four. Damn. That would have been that would have been well worth taking if we could have got the amount of green items we needed. I don't think any of the lunar items are worth it for us right now, so let's just head back on over here if we could. Okay then. Okay, thank god this guy doesn't take fall damage. Not that, that would be lethal anyways, just I'm glad. Right, let's try again. So second floor, looking looking healthy, looking decent. Uh, we got one of those over there. We'll go and take him out straight away. Good, good. Oh, we've got a few of these bad boys. I kind of wish I had squid polyps again. They were really fun. They were working out for us. We do have a 3D printer, which admittedly could be good. We've only got two white items right now, so it'd have to be something pretty banging. It's definitely not. It's cautious slug. We 100% certainly do not want to take that. We have a shop over here. Good, good. good. Right. Extra sprint speed seems invaluable right now. We need to be moving around, getting away from things. Cautious slug. It's not bad, honestly, out of combat, having one, but I'm not going to trade my items away for them. And honestly, being able to find the chests and things easier is very nice. Not having to do too much looking around. I respect the radar. I respect it. Of course, I'd prefer to deal damage, but I still respect it. Okay, let's chill, chill over here with our chest. Got enough for it? Nah, 57. Come on, one more enemy. One more enemy. Thank you. Hey, focus crystal. We all know how good that can be. Right, let's queue it up again. See what else we have available to us here. We do have two of these guys, so let's move away from that. We have another 3D printer here, which is Old War Stealth Kit. I I don't think that's good, to be honest. I think Old War Stealth Kit isn't really the right play here. Well, of course, open this again. Um, no thank you. Okay, not great. Got you two. Jump across here. We're not really finding that many chests over here. I'm surprised. Okay, there's one. We lost a bit of health there. Due to a few flares. A few wispy boys. Hmm. We're not we're not really got that many chests this stage at all. Okay, we'll wait for our cooldowns to come back up. And then we'll uh we'll go on for the boss. Whoa. Look at him yeet. Not a great floor for us, honestly. Right, three, two, one, throw that out. Wow, that was nice. Nice and easy. We got ourselves whip, which again is more movement speed, so I'm happy with it. Seems that our cooldown now is exactly the same length as the actual electric thing itself, which means we can kind of cycle it pretty easily, as long as we remember. 
And it does enough damage to be really worth doing that. Like, it's killing these wisps in one hit. Got him. You're still making your way over here, are you? You've been traveling a long while. And now you're dead. All this way for a swift death. Okay. Good. If we get more gasoline, that would that would also stoke the fire, so to say. That would help out a lot. Got you. And you. And you. Might take you out. Okay, 93%. And actually, the, the, the rockets are pretty good. We figured that out last time. The, the, the um, fireworks are actually pretty decent. Having four or five of those would, would actually set you up really nicely for um, good damage on chests um, opened. And anything opened, really. Uh, gasoline, exactly what I wanted. I will... Do you know what? I'm going to go all out. We don't really have any white items that I feel are essential. If I could keep tri-tipped, I'd be happy about that. Do you know what? We're going to we're gonna go with four of these and, and leave the rest. And I think that's going to be enough. Gasoline now has a pretty wide radius, which is exactly what we wanted it to have, and it's going to be dealing decent damage, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Got enough for our first chest here. We do have a big chest. Repulsion armor plate, we noticed last time that was helping out quite a lot. So how much of our big chest? That was 104, 209. Okay. Take you out before things get a bit hairy. We can probably stay here and, and get enough to uh, to work on that. And let's get both of these at once, because why not? Yes, definitely noticing gasoline's effect here. Like I said, we could get three or even four more, but I like the variety we've got right now with the movement speed and everything. Oh, so close. So very close. Let's set up on the tree while we wait, shall we? There you go. There you go. We got it going on while we wait for the combat to come to us. And here we are. Done. <laughs> oh, another legendary. And we get increased jump height. Hold interact to slam. It's interesting. It's not my favorite legendary. I, I can I can tell you that for sure. I can tell you that for sure. Certainly not my my most favoritist of ones. That's very nice. But the increased jump height is really really nice. I have to say. It can get us out of a lot of annoying situations. We got crit glasses below as well. I think 3D printed with crit glasses. It's tempting. It's tempting. The thing is, though, the increased jump height isn't exactly necessary for this guy, considering his already pretty damn crazy movement. Like, if, if we were playing as someone that had a lot less movement, like NG, I'd certainly respect it more. So let's just check over there. And of course we can do, 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 do the slam. Which does do a lot of damage, but it only does about the same amount of damage as that slam, if not a tiny bit more. So I feel that, considering that, it's not great. Oh, um, I died. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Either way, this has been a good episode. Um, is, please let me know if you want me to continue using the uh, Artifact of Glass. I've been enjoying it and playing with some of my favourite characters. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.